Uh, hello, this is Data Trader Pro. Welcome back. Uh, we are going to do a video, a how to video on our block trades pages. Um, one of the most important parts of our site is the fact that we trade uh, large in institutional trading activity um, via block trades charts and also a summary page. We'll get to that later. Um, first of all, um, the block uh, transactions charts individually are scrollable. Uh, and and zoomable so that we can narrow in on smaller um, price action. Uh, each block trades will uh, provide a little pop-up window that tells you the time uh, and the volume uh, and the price of the uh, transaction. Uh, you'll see a lot of these at open and close. That's where institutions do a lot of their trading. Um, but what's most noticeable about these charts is that you'll see the pattern, if you look at these for a while, of distribution at highs, some more selling here, and then accumulation at bottoms. Uh, institutions uh, are generally referred to as the smart money in the market. Retail smaller traders are unfortunately called the dumb money. Uh, the smart money is usually buying weakness when retail is panicking and worried and if things are going down, retail generally doesn't buy, but large institutional traders such as banks and hedge funds and so on uh, that often trade in dark pools are just doing the exact opposite. Every time the stocks go down, they're buying it and they're selling on the way up. Uh, just as retail is hopping on and starting to buy and saying, look, we're breaking out, we're breaking out and then it falls and they don't know why. So this uh, type of chart gives us a much clearer idea about uh, the intentions of the largest players in the market and frankly unless you're trading millions of shares uh, of um, known uh, large important uh, market moving stocks you are a very small retail player like everyone else. Um, there's nothing wrong with that, but uh, you will find it advantageous uh, to follow the big money in the market. Um, follow the smart money rather than um, uh, the patterns of most retail traders, which is to do the opposite. All right, moving along. Uh, in this uh, chart, uh, in this page, uh, this is index ETFs. We cover SPY, which is the SP500 ETF. Um, QQQ, which is the NASDAQ 100 technology-based uh, uh, ETF, and the IWM, which is the Russell 2000. We have a nice uh, large buy there at the, at the bottom right at close um, on the lows. So um, we guess that uh, following this type of activity, we're going to see a rise in price. So um, that's just the way it works. We'll move on uh, to we have a page on volatility exchange traded products. Uh, this is, uh, the, the, we have the two most popular exchange trade products in the volatility space, which are VXX and XIV. Um, UVXY, uh, we may add at a later date. It does see some block trade activity, so it might be an interesting one to watch. Uh, UVXY is simply a two times leverage version of VXX. So um, it may be a similar kind of move, but it may be nice to get them for confirmation. Either way, we have VXX, which is a long volatility, uh, and then we have XIV, which is short volatility. XIV will tend to move uh, with the S&P 500 because it's an inverse volatility. Volatility moves inverse of the S&P 500. So VXX will move opposite, generally, and XIV will move with the S&P 500. Um, we have uh, three uh, very common and popular metals tickers, which are GLD, which is the largest uh, gold-based uh, ETF. Um, we have GDX, which is a gold miners uh, basket ETF. And we have SLV, which is silver. Uh, ETF and we've been seeing a lot of block trade activity lately in GDX so uh, up and down up and down distribution accumulation over and over and over by big players so we we feel that based on the activity GDX is probably getting ready for a big move and we'll have to see uh, how that plays out we'll talk uh, about how to read these in a moment uh, energy the energy space is covered by USO, which is the largest oil ETF. 
there's a lot of <laughs> block trade activity in this one lately. It was very quiet for a couple of weeks, almost nothing going on when it was hovering around the bottom. But lately it's perked up and there are quite a few USO block trades. Uh, UNG has had a lot of big moves lately. Uh, a very large move down and then a huge accumulation, which is actually off this chart because it was a couple of weeks ago, but huge accumulation. And then we're getting a little bit of distribution into higher prices, but uh, I, I wouldn't think that the move is over yet. Um, going back to reading uh, the block trades uh, charts themselves, um, what we want to do is we want to read them in clusters. So right now we have got, let me get a pen tool, we have got uh, a level. And that level is roughly 204, maybe a little less uh, on SPY. If we, if we zoom out the chart, we can actually read the individual prices. Um, high 203s, low 204s, uh, that level. So basically we want to look at it as a, you know bearish uh, below and bullish above that price level. There was obviously a lot of institutional price activity in this area. If price drops that means that they were selling more uh, and that you shouldn't be bullish until price recaptures and goes ab much above 204. I think. So we're trying to avoid second guessing ourselves and coming up with wild theories about what's going on. We're simply using uh, price levels uh, at large institutional trading activity levels and uh, basically saying that they're a demarcation line, that things are uh, bullish above that level and bearish below. If you had done that here, where we had large block trades, and simply taken along on IWM down here, put your stop just just below, and let the trade carry you high until you saw price drop below this point. You would use that as a stop and you could get out either here or here or might, maybe you were stopped out here or you could have carried it right into the highs. You would certainly not want to hold when you saw a lot of institutional block trade activity and pr uh, up here at the highs and then price starting to drop below them. I, you probably could have trailed stops up all along and, and, then, and then let yourself stop out naturally. So that's basically how we trade those. Um, it's a very simple way to trade. It's a very rewarding way to trade. Uh, it doesn't require a ton of homework. Uh, it's very accurate. It's not based on lagging indicators such as uh, moving averages from 20, 21 hour bars ago um, that's f still affecting price now. And there's nothing wrong with a lot of those technicals. It's just that they are all lagging. Uh, none of them predict price for the future. Uh, all of these block transactions pages are giving you real time uh, live market data that you can use. Um, so uh, I would advise that you make them part of your trading plan. Um, the last page is uh, the summary page. This is a new page and it's still um, undergoing a few tweaks. Uh, but basically what we have here is all of the block trades uh, individual uh, tickers uh, here in a summary page which provides a little further detail as a, almost like a time and sales that's scrollable and we can go back uh, five days of market data currently we may add more later on but five days of market data and we can see that for each of these tickers that we can go back and look at where price changed where things changed in the market we can find a level that was important for the market let's look at UNG it had one recently Yes, you see a, a strong demarcation between prices below the last cluster of block trades and prices moved above. Now, if you had simply taken a long, when that crossed over, a price crossed over that level that we saw on the chart, you would get in somewhere around this 864 mark and you could have taken a nice trade higher. Yeah? So, um, 
basically that's how to use this. It's a time and sales. It provides a little finer detail. Instead of scrolling back in the chart and what was that trade and where was that level, we can we can uh, go back and have a look at all those trades here. So I hope you uh, found that helpful. Uh, that was the Data Trader Pro block trades uh, pages, including the summary, and more to come shortly. Thank you.